Error angle seems to be played down, at least uh, by some. Uh, what does that leave others for explanations? Let's bring in Congressman Adam Schiff. He's a Democrat from California. He's a senior member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. You bet. All right, so what do you make of what John Brennan, the CIA director, is saying when he says, not at all, he emphasized those words, not ruling out terrorism. What are you hearing? Well, I think he's exactly right at this point. We really can't rule anything out. Uh, we do know a lot more about these two passengers, but we probably know more now about those two passengers than we do with the other uh, more than 200 who are on board. Uh, so we're uh, scouring the manifest, seeing if we can make any connections with any other passengers on board. Uh, we're looking uh, for any kind of chatter. Was there any evidence that we had before this of an airline plot around this time or in this location? Um, so far, I think uh, it's fair to say that nothing has leapt out at us. Uh, it could be, you know, a plot that was uh, uh, hatched uh, in Southeast Asia that didn't involve someone on the aircraft, but someone who put something on the aircraft. Um, so, you know, we can't rule anything out. I think that's certainly fair to say. Uh, I, you just don't have a plane of this size go completely missing uh, and be able to rule out any uh, possibility. Because you remember, all of us remember, before the Sochi Winter Olympic Games, there was a threat alert that was issued by the U.S. about toothpaste bombs getting on planes. There seemed to be some targeting of, of aircraft. Uh, have you heard anything in all of your briefings linking what, what just happened here with this Malaysia Airlines uh, uh, plane and, and that earlier threat that had been so widely disseminated? Uh, Wolf, I haven't. I really haven't seen any indication of linkage between the disappearance of this plane and the threats that we were so concerned about around the Olympics. Um, and, and that's exactly what we're looking for, uh, connections to those threats. Uh, but also, did we hear any kind of ch about uh, airline plots that might be connected to this? Uh, were there uh, things that we saw earlier but didn't make the connection, and now with this missing plane, there may be a connection? Uh, are there groups taking responsibility? Uh, sometimes that can be misleading. Uh, so, you know, we're looking into all of this. You know, we've seen also cases in the past where there were psychiatric problems among the pilot or crew. Uh, that could be a causative factor. It still could be a, a mechanical failure. Um, but we're going to be obviously scouring all the intelligence leads uh, while we search for the aircraft. What are you, what are you hearing about the pilot and the co-pilot? Uh, not very much. Uh, they were both very experienced. I think the early analysis looked at uh, whether this was a, a problem with their training. Did they not have enough hours in the air? Was this similar to the situation of the plane that uh, crash landed in San Francisco? Uh, but, you know, the, the, the pilots looked well trained. The airplane looked like it was in good condition. The weather was good. This is why it is so uh, mind boggling that this plane has just completely vanished. Are you getting the kind of cooperation uh, from the Malaysian authorities that you would anticipate in a situation like this? I raise the question because some uh, have criticized Malaysia for giving out all sorts of conflicting information. Uh, you know, I think we're getting good cooperation. I haven't heard of any problems. Uh, probably the biggest concern is not the cooperation we're getting now, but the fact that uh, so many countries don't check the Interpol database, so they don't look for these stolen passports. Uh, we and other countries, uh, not all countries, but uh, certainly we and the British and others, uh, make sure that we uh, tap the databases that can tell us whether people are flying with stolen documents. Uh, and these two on this plane may have been completely uh, innocent of the downing of the plane, uh, but it doesn't mean that this is not a, a gaping security vulnerability that needs to be fixed because uh, it could lead to uh, a terrible advantage of this in other cases. Adam Schiff uh, is a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Wolf.